All right, final half hour of gameplay, guys. Let's hope I can get something going, because I have not done very well tonight besides that one top four finish. Everything else has been pretty pathetic. So I'm hoping to do better. Got a shot. It's funny that so many people talk junk about the Seattle area, saying, oh, everyone here is depressed, it's always rainy. It's not the case at all. Other people depressed here, I'm sure. But there's no way they're depressed because of the fucking weather. It ain't the weather that's doing it. over here. Nothing good. No bandages. I almost missed them. Damn, I gotta drive around this stupid lake. It's gonna be annoying. Two shotguns? Why? <laughs> Timbo Slice Tree says, I've taken many trips to Seattle, and for 10 years it was always on my top of my list to move there for a big move. It looks amazing more so outside of Seattle with the hills and countryside. Yeah, it's funny because you can live here in the suburbs, and you could live in a beautiful mountainside like I do, and everything that I want is within reach, great internet, you know. And everything's cool, and I could drive in one direction. I could drive like 20 30 minutes. I could be in the middle of this nice rural area where I could go to like a like farm, a farm, and buy local produce and buy pumpkins and stuff for Halloween. Um, and I could go drive up to the mountains and do off roading and hiking and stuff. I could drive 30 minutes the other direction. I'm in Seattle, I'm in downtown Seattle, a major city, you know, huge, like, like you know, like a big metropolitan area, all kinds of tourism and everything. Like, there's so many good things to being here. And oh my god, is the air so much cleaner out here than what I'm used to when I used to live in Connecticut on the East Coast. That air used to be like, you know, nasty, sooty, smog and shit. Here is so much better. We get all the clean air off the Pacific. It's so nice, man. Okay. I don't want to go this way, but the, the fucking gravity keeps pushing me towards the, the lake, which I don't want to go. I want to go up here. Look, there's a, ch a freaking chest right here. An airdrop. Go. He killed me! Oh my god, I killed him and he killed me! Wow. I killed him and he killed me. What on earth? Spawn killer took me a dollar. He says, Hey DSP, I know you haven't bought any collector items in a while. Have you heard the new Fallout Collector's Edition and Assassin's Creed is $240? No. I really don't pay attention to any of that shit anymore, you know? Remember. Back in the day, when I first started doing YouTube, I was making ridiculous amounts of money. So for me, I would buy, no lie, I would buy the collector's edition of a game. It would be like, like between $100 $200. I would, just the unboxing video a lot of the times would pay for the fucking game. And then I would play the game and make hundreds to thousands of dollars on the playthrough of the fucking game. Seriously. Now, I just, you know, it's a complete opposite. 
I, 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 you know, don't make a lot of money. So I have to, you know, I can't. I can't get frivolous items like that. And unboxing videos make no money anyway, so. Okay. Well, I guess it's like... Is it instant revenge? No, because I killed the guy first. Then he hit me with the car, so... <laughs> that was weird. 